Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It is March 3rd, and we're out here. Uh, I'm going to take an, uh, another update on our propagations, and we're going to discuss a little bit about some older videos. Okay, out here at our grow station, we've got uh, we've got about six of our trays that still got uh, cuttings in them. Some some are looking good. Some are maybe questionable. They are starting to dry out, uh, like this one here. And we'll have to come back in and and uh, do some uh, thinning out, weeding out the bad ones. We have a few that are they're still showing green, but they're not showing any roots, no leaves out here and what i want to talk about i get some comments on an older video uh, where i was propagating peach uh, cuttings now a lot of people say well there wasn't a follow-up on that video as far as so it must have been a fail and uh, what people fail to realize is in the past and this video was over two years old but a lot of times when I do a video, and I, I do more specific now, I try to do my propagation videos uh, by themselves, so I don't end up with that. But in this older video, yes, it was a failure. There was very few that survived because there was a, a fungal net infestation that year that was really bad. And so I only had two or three out of the whole bunch of my uh peaches and apples that survived. I had some oranges that I was trying to propagate. I didn't have any of them uh, survive. And <clears throat> what I, what I want to say is that there was an update as far as on the, uh, the progress of that and the failure, but they were included in the garden update. So I always try to follow up, and now I try to do specific videos. That's why there's uh, a lot more. Seems like I put out a lot more, and maybe multi that videos at a time is because, uh, in order to separate it, so people that try to follow around for a specific uh, progress, whether it's on transplanting, whether it's on propagation or seed starting stuff like that, I try to put them together and. So someone can go back through those videos and they can follow up. But it's easy enough to ask a question, but it seemed like the comments were kind of negative on that video. It gets a, a lot of views. I think it's maybe one of my most viewed uh, videos. But there was nothing. I don't ever try to hide. I try to uh, encourage people to try new things. And I also uh, go through... And I do follow-ups because failures are, are part of it. And I, if there's a failure, I want people to know why. So maybe if they're trying to do the same thing, they can prevent that situation. But we're going to go into this, where we're at on our propagations now. The, they have been slowing down. I'm almost uh, thinking about uh, taking these and and uh, taking their cellophane off and taking them out and putting them in the sun and see what's going to survive and what's not. I have my grow station is empty of my transplants. They're all out in the greenhouse. So I've moved my uh, cuttings up closer to where I've got my top lights are the most intense. Uh, so I'm going to see if the more intense light might start some of these to grow and, and uh, we'll see how that works. But let's see what we've got. In our workshop area, or elderberry since we had our big flush of a bunch of them coming out it's basically it's shut down to, to nothing and what i'm going to do is definitely i'm going to take these out of their uh bags and i'm going to take these out put them in the sun see if it helps uh we we maybe got uh i don't know if it was 50 percent uh survival on these or not at this point but we did have we did have a good uh rate but like i said in earlier videos these uh cuttings were not were not taken in uh in the ideal time they were 
they were taken at the end of the year and normally elderberry cuttings do real good if they're taken when they start to flush out their growth in at this time of year so anyway right now we're sitting to where we we don't have any activity on these we do have two figs that are going to be potted up this week uh, we have this uh Marcellus Black, and this was way back in uh, December. Let me try to see the 21st, which that was most of them that we had last week's update were on it from the 21st. So, so these have been in here quite a while, but this one is putting out roots. Uh, I'm going to get that potted up, and then this other one here is another green isca, and it's it's putting out roots. So we're going to get this potted up. Uh, they're just not as vigorous as a lot of them that that had uh, been potted up earlier. But we'll get these potted up, and then we're going to go out in the greenhouse. And this week, we're going to look at the elderberries, too, and we have started a few other elderberries. And before we go out there, I'll show you another project that's going on. Now, this project here, I have a methylene, uh plum. And I had done some pruning, and it was already starting to bud, but I said I need to get some of this uh, inside growth out, with, whether it be a full prune or not. But these here are uh, cuttings. I had cut them, and then I left them lay for a little bit. And then I decided, well, why don't I try to propagate some? So we're going to see how this goes. These are... Uh, Definitely, they weren't ideal when I'm taking them, but we're we're gonna do an experiment because I'm all about experiments, and all it's gonna cost me is a little bit of my time and a little compost mix. So, so anyway, this is the new project. Okay, we're out here in the greenhouse now with our propagations. Now these are the newest elderberries. Uh, some of them's taken, some of them aren't. So we're not gonna be too concerned. These are just kind of extras that we've done. Uh, these are the elderberries that we've uh, taken and potted up that were uh, from the time whenever they all started getting active. Uh, most of them's uh, looking good. There are a few that's still questionable and we won't know until uh, later on how many of these are actually going to survive. Or Fig trees, as you can see, our uh, Black Mission is fully leafed out now, and our uh, Little Miss Figgies are too, the ones that uh, were affected by the freeze. We've Now we've got a total of uh, 182 with these last two that we've done, and they're looking really good. They're uh, starting to progress a lot faster it's been, uh, getting a little warmer weather. Not quite as cool at night. The the greenhouse is opened all the way up for those that might wonder. As well, I say not quite. I run out of battery on that side, so the side isn't open, and I haven't opened up uh, this end yet. But it won't be uh, long. It'll be opened up. But you can see they're all doing really well. There are a few that may be questionable uh, that they were put out before the actual leaves have popped out they have good roots so so we figure they'll probably do good but uh even some of these that have been the the latest ones are really uh taken off now so but that's where we're looking at on the the uh fig trees maybe next week's update i'll go out to the orchard again it's really uh got a lot of leafing out uh, going on there and if everything stays good with the weather we ought to have a a great crop because we've got so many foreman uh, figs on them now. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update. And of course, if you want to see more and you're not a subscriber, just hit that subscribe, hit the bell, select all. And as always, give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out. And share this video. Enjoy that gardening experience.